Hey everyone, Bowtie's back here on the Legacy SMP server. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'll try not to have that happen again on today's episode. We need to move out of the containment center here. Uh, so we've built this up a few episodes ago and it's been doing fantastic. It's been doing great, but weird things have been happening here. I've been having a hard time sleeping, uh, having some nightmares. So we need to get out of here. Plus this happened on the outside. You may have already noticed, but all the trap doors on the pipes are now open. I don't know what's going on with that. It's, it's even on the gears right here too. I don't know what's happening. I blame the rift energy. Maybe the containment center isn't working as well as it should, but we need to get out of here and build a better place to live to get away from all of this madness. So what I want to do is I want to build up a nice home right here behind me. We got all the materials set up, ready to go. And these double chests, as you can see, there aren't a lot of materials here. It's going to be a pretty decently large project. We're probably not going to get to it all today. But the first thing that we need to do is I want to elevate the land to meet up with where this netherrack is. Netherrack is the base and the foundation of where everything is going to go. And uh, we need to make this transition a little bit better because that's just going to look weird to have something floating up in the sky right here. We got to make the land fit the build properly. So let's go ahead and get to uh, working on that. Welcome back. We went ahead and got the rest of the build done here. But before I show you everything here, there was a bit of a meeting that I had partway through with Lyman and Thomas that I want to show you before I give you the grand reveal here. Oh, hey, what's going on over here? Hey, Bowtie. Hello. What a, what a landing. What an entrance. <laughs> so graceful. <laughs> yeah, I saw this. Uh, off over by Mr. B's base, I was doing some work and I had to come check it out. What's going on? So, so you've seen the statues all around, right? Oh um, yeah. Yes. You've probably also seen that some of them have turned into logic. Seen that a few times, yeah. Especially after he first yeah. left. We figured maybe maybe we could sort of help him out in that if he's doing like a struggle in the rift or something. And maybe we could get more of them on here. So we, we've built this and I don't know, like, we'll see what happens, I guess. But hopefully that can help him out and whatever is going on. Oh, wow. So the, these are more of the, uh, the statues then. Well, we've we've tried to make them as close as possible, but who knows how those those things showed up, right? Yeah. So what's the next step here? What's the plan? I guess. I mean, this is as far as we got. I, we wait and see, or maybe we can make this alter. Like, if you have any improvements that could make this better, that could signal better, I don't know. Like, any ideas are, are welcome here. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, we already got the radio tower over in the wasteland. What about a, a satellite dish or something to enhance the signal? Ooh, I like it. That would be good. a great idea. Yeah, that's maybe something I, I can help out with and work on here. I got a few ideas going. Sounds awesome. And then we see if we if we get logic or not.
So yeah, that was a little bit of an interesting meeting between Thomas, Lyman, and I, uh, building up that satellite dish. Hopefully we're going to be able to get into contact with Logic or, or, or something uh, to get some assistance and help from him. But let's go ahead and check out the build here that we've been working on. And there it is in all its completed glory. Uh, just ignore these these dark oak trees. <laughs> I had to farm up a little bit of wood and, and leaves for this, but this is my little uh, lin, 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 windmill here. Um... I thought it'd be a nice uh, thing to, to to live in. I saw inspiration for this on Pinterest, and I'm like, I just had to go ahead and take that on and see if I can build this. It was such a challenge to make, especially these these windmill sails things. I don't know what they call them. <laughs> uh, up on top here, that, that was the worst part of building all this. Uh, so glad that I was finally able to get this done and get this finished. Then we added in some extra detailing that was not in the time lapses there, a little bit of diorite here per, uh, paired in with the calcite we got some wool and some concrete powder in there to make the the walls look all nice and then on the roofing there we got a little bit of cyan wool some nether wart blocks the the blue one the whatever it's called and uh dark prismarine on there and it came together really nicely i'm happy with how all of this has come out here and we've done a little bit of work on stream too so a few other things might look different in the area we extended out the roadways a bit in here and we added in this nice little greenhouse uh, to bring a little bit of life to the area because we are in a wasteland we are in a kind of a dead area i'm not entirely done with this i might do a little bit more changing here and this this these glow berries a little 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 too much <laughs> let's see if we just break that uh and maybe i'll have to put some string on that to keep that growing uh too big but we're gonna go ahead and probably add in a little bit more leaves and some other things some detailing around here um but before i do anything else there is something I want to take a look at. All right, so I think I have an idea of what this is, but let's go ahead and take a look out of here. And look at that, we got a whole... <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was gonna say this. Um, yeah, <laughs> thank you. We have a whole bunch of uh, Boy Stink, AKA Netherite on here from the terrible, terrible and evil Kim and Jax. Um, <laughs> I helped Kim out a while ago uh, doing some netherite collection and I gave her everything that I found because I, I was there to help her out. I didn't keep any of it for myself and now she's gone ahead and returned the favor and gave us some netherite here. So we're going to go ahead and make some netherite armor as well. And I think it's going to come in pretty good use. All right, so we got our netherite suit here all taken care of and this actually is not the same suit. Uh, we went ahead and crafted a whole new suit. I want to have uh, the diamond suit for one purposes and the netherite suit for a whole different purpose. And let me show you why. And here we are down at the containment center and we got something a little bit fishy going on here. Um, it appears to be leaking. That's not good. So I figured the netherite suit is going to be best to dealing with the contamination and staying nice and safe and secure from this. And I don't want to use my diamond armor on here. And when we're not using our diamond armor, we'll just leave it up here to keep it all nice and safe. Uh, but before we get back into this, I need to clean this netherite armor. And I have just the thing for it right here. I have built a um, decontamination unit. We'll just step on right in here. We'll make sure we close everything in for safety and just uh, punch this. There we go. Now the suit is all nice and decontaminated. We can go ahead and safely switch back into our diamond armor after dealing with all that messy stuff down below in the contamination unit. And there we go. We're back to normal in our diamond armor here. We're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. So thank you so much for uh, hanging out here. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you drop that subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on the Twitches and the Twitters and all those other things. And uh, I'll catch you all again real soon. Have a good one, everyone.